over the cliffs, and I haven't seen him since. I haven't seen him since. I suppose he's swimming with the fishes now. I'm trying to do like a stupid Marlon Brando. Yeah. He swims with the fishes. He swims. I haven't seen him since. I suppose he's swimming with the fishes now. <laughs> Is that stupid? <laughs> that could be funny, right? No. Oh. Oh. So who is Silver? Um, he He's kind of the, the quintessential fish out of water. And he wakes up in a strange land and is kind of like, is this a joke? I mean, he doesn't really take it seriously, just the way um, if you were in a dream and you realized it was a dream, you might be like, ah, fuck this, I don't really care about this. Initial Silver's reaction to the whole situation uh, freaks some of the players out a bit. He feels a bit too over the top, maybe. Uh, but for me, that's a, sort of a coping mechanism he develops, because well, we had several options. One of them would be him screaming on top of his lungs and being like, oh my god, what am I doing here? Because he's completely on a different planet, different time, uh, weird races around him, so he's like lost, marooned, and he could either flip out and be crazy and panic, or he could be a bit like on top of the things and not really being able to decide if this is all a dream or if this is reality. I had this horrible nightmare and it felt so real. Hallucinations are a perfectly normal symptom of a long sleep of the ascended. And some people tend to complain about Silver's killing looks and his hairstyle. I have absolutely no idea what's that about. May I just? Get lost, you hairdressing accident. Not in the mood. Uh, this is actually something that uh, isn't really part of the game, but to create a character that has a depth, sort of, we needed to give him some background. What was his upbringing? Uh, to make this align with the game, we decided that Silver probably was a sort of a rich kid, a bit of a spoiled brat, who rebelled against his family, ran off and joined the Space Forces. He was always a bit of an outcast of the crew because he was the posh guy from the rich family with his funny British accent. So he didn't really felt too great there. And he also tried to show that he's the best, which of course didn't bring him much of friends. And what is interesting, uh, this is all erased at the beginning of the game because he starts with a completely clean slate and you can decide if he's gonna be stuck in this stereotype of him lecturing the others and trying to be the smartest guy in the room. Only one bronze left, so it's easy. The same for complimentary shield. Complimentary? That's a complicated word. So this game is sort of also a chance for you to redeem Silver, to get rid of this deep, buried down past and see if you can make a better person out of him. I was just curious about that old saying, Captain Rats in a Sinking Ship. And you really were here much faster than I was. If you were not Boro, I would kill you for that joke. It's disrespectful of Ratkins. But also very funny. You can be really an asshole when even the other assholes in the game will become sick of you. Or you can be savior of the planet. You can try to mend things and you can be this noble guy running around. And this is all defined by you. He starts out very like ironic and very like, I don't care about any of this. You report to me now, no matter what. Is that clear? Is that clear? Sire, yes, sire. Sorry, sire. I will now say sire in every sentence, just so you don't pop a vein, sire. As time goes on and he, he meets more of the characters and he gets more into the story, then he starts to take things more seriously. Brother, let me see those wounds. Away, you Naboru slaver. I'm not Naboru, I'm human. And I'm with the Ratkin army. Really? You bring help? You will live, brother. I will do my best to save you. But there's still, because he's immortal, um, there's still a kind of like, well, I can kind of do anything I want kind of feeling. If we send you, human, is it true that you can't lose? I can lose as many times as needed to win. When I die, I get reborn again. Many have given their life for the Naboru Empire. You shall be the first to give multiple. 
that's who Silver is. And I think that, you know, playing him, like really amping up the, the that kind of, um, that kind of ironic kind of like, pff, I don't, like kind of like Pasha attitude is really fun. You don't know how to sail, but since you are a captain, it shouldn't be a problem for you, right? Well, sure, yeah, no problem. Sailor is my middle name. My first would be not a fucking. I like your spirit, not a fucking sailor. Also, nice to know your name. He's in these situations that are terrifying with huge monsters and, and, and kind of things that any normal person would be kind of shitting themselves. But he's like, yeah, okay, so that didn't really work out, you know, so. And um, yeah, so it's, so it's fun, it's fun to do. I honestly don't know why, but I thought rats would be excellent chefs and make at least a mean ratatouille or something. Oh, come on. 